I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. Are you are you are you ready for me to say it? Okay, I'm gonna say it. Marvel Legends is a better line than Six Inch Black series. I know it's insane coming from a guy who's mostly a Star Wars channel. It's it's freaking insane. But yeah. Honestly, when it comes to Six Inch Black series, I'm like, well, if I see it in stores, I'll get it. Which, most of the time, I do see it in stores, surprisingly. But if I don't see it in stores, I won't bother. But with Marvel Legends, I actually sought this figure out. I got so impatient waiting to see this wave in stores, I just ordered this guy on eBay. I got a pretty good price on it, too, but yeah. Marvel Legends, they're certainly superior figures, and I have 10 figures here that I consider to be my favorites. Now, before I get into it, I do want to say there's a couple honorable mentions and there's a couple exclusions. Marvel Select, I'm not going to put on this list. Mostly, the Marvel Select Hulkbuster is the biggest one I have to exclude because it's not a Marvel Legends, and even though I really, really freaking love that thing, it's not a Marvel Legends. Secondly, I really, really try to limit characters, um, like this one, actually characters and mold. Uh, it was actually one instance of this same character in the same mold. I really liked both of them, but I just picked my favorite because I want more variety in this. Because if that would be the instance, I'd have mo half the list would be like repaints, pretty much. Because I like a lot of uh, the Spider-Man mold, I like a lot of Iron Man molds. So yeah, let's get on to it. Number 10 is, well, you can see him right there, Civil War Iron Man. I just reviewed this guy on my channel. Really, really love this figure. I love the aesthetic of it. It's certainly my favorite Iron Man figure, and while I'm saying that, this list is in no particular order. I really can't say what my favorite Marvel Legend is, because all of them are just too damn good. So yeah, this this Iron Man, I, I freaking love it. I love the repulsor effects. I love the posability. While it's not super articulated, the posing options are very nice, and I feel like it gets the job done, and I just love the aesthetic of the armor. So, yep, there's number 10. Number 9 goes to, well, I actually almost didn't put this guy on the list, because I was looking at my Marvel Legends shelf, and this guy isn't on the shelf. This, number 9, goes to the Spider-Man Sam Raimi Green Goblin with the removable mask. Because I freaking love this figure. Shout out to Comic Figure Blog, dude. He hooked me up with this thing, and I'm so happy to finally have it. Love Green Goblin, especially from the first movie. This is actually the Green Goblin I grew up with. And this figure, I love the sheen of it. The articulation's pretty nice. And the detail on this glider is fantastic. So, yep, yeah, there's number nine. And, um, uh, camera's this way, buddy. Number eight, I'm seriously just picking these guys from behind my back. This is in no particular order whatsoever. Number eight goes to the freaking Marvel Legends Ghost Rider, dude. This figure is awesome, man. The only issue is the fact that it doesn't have the motorcycle. But even then, I can get over it. And honestly, people complaining about the lack of an actual chain, come on, look at what I used. It looks fantastic, and it's just a broken necklace. I don't even know where I got the necklace. I think I might have actually freaking found it on the ground. I'm being serious. It's not hard to make up a chain for this guy. And this chain looks fantastic. And I love how it looks with it. I love this head sculpt, man. This freaking... I just knocked over Civil War Iron Man. I love this freaking head sculpt. And I... Like, this is one of the best toy skulls I have ever seen. And I can't get over how nice... That jaw articulation is. It's just such a great figure. And I just can't get over the sculpt. This is the best usage of this, uh, what is it, Aim Soldier and Star-Lord mold by far. And I'm very saddened to see how this figure misses out on being on a lot of people's top Marvel Legends list. Because this thing is, I love it. This may be, this is certainly in the top five, this one. Now, I'm not going to do, like, top five, top favorite, top three. No, I'm not going to do that. But if I would, this guy would certainly be in the top five. Number seven, then, has to go to... Ooh, this is a really good one. So, yeah, Bucky Cap Mold. A lot of people um, a lot of people don't like it, mostly because it's used so much. And for me, I don't have that much of it. I think I have four. Well, you already know what it is. <laughs> I only have four of the Bucky Cap Mold. And it, I'm not tired of it. I try to avoid getting a lot of Bucky Cap because it's pretty much the same figure over and over. But honestly, 
Daredevil, by far, is the best usage of this mold. Even out of all the other figures they've released, I don't have. I think my Bucky Cat molds are Daredevil, Carnage, uh, Blizzard, and the Hydra Soldier. This is by far the best out of every Bucky Cap, in my opinion. Just how this character works with this mold, how the coloration works with each other, and this head sculpt. This figure's coming off really red on the camera, and I have no clue why. He is not this red in person. But I really, really love this head sculpt. And I'm going to be honest, I mean, I liked the Daredevil. I thought he was cool before the Netflix series. But the Netflix series is really what it sold me on this figure. And thankfully, this came out right when the Netflix series came out. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy to own this thing. And, whoo, yeah, that's a really nice figure. Number, what am I on? Number one, two, three, four, number five, I think. Number five goes to, ooh, this is a really good one. Only got a couple Toy Biz figures on this list. And Colossus certainly had to be on this list. Uh, he's got some issues, yeah, he's kind of loose here and there. But overall, just the sheen of this guy, like, I love how the metal, well, the metal, really reflects the light. Uh, it's kind of matte, they did do a lot black, a lot of black wash on it, and it really does kind of get wet, get, get rid of the sheen. Oh my god, I can't talk anymore. But overall, it still looks metal, it still looks nice, and the articulation on this guy is insane. Did, did you know he can do this? Look at that. And I'm not even bending this joint. I'm bending this joint inside his armpit. It's so weird, but it's so cool at the same time. And I'm, I'm just going to say it right now. This is one of his only issues. His legs, for some reason, are just kind of wonky. And I got a really good deal on this guy. I think uh, this weird like country store called like Peddler's Mall that mostly just has antiques. Had this one booth with some Marvel Legends in it for just, uh, I want to say, like, this guy was 25 bucks carded. So, yeah, that's a really great deal. Number, I want to say number number four? Number four? I'm going to say number four. No, number five. I'm going to say number five because I'm really getting lost. Number five goes to the Marvel Now Iron Man. <sighs> like I said, I tried to really get rid of reuses and molds on this list, but the Mark IV mold is great. I can completely understand why the Mark IV figure itself is really desirable, because this is, it's probably the second best movie Iron Man figure, I'd have to say by far the, the first best is the Civil War one, I mean, but his thing almost knocked over the camera, that's beautiful. But yeah, the posability on this guy is really good, if not a bit weak in some areas, like I'd say mostly the waist, well, the midsection, I'd say, is kind of weak. And the hips could use some help. I don't like this style of joint. But overall, like, even this repaint of the Marvel now, they really did a good job. I love the color of the black, and I love the gold. One thing, of course, um, I do this on some figures I really like. Uh, right here, was it? Or, no, it was, it was right here. It used to have the uh, white serial number. I just wiped that off because I absolutely hate those. So, yeah, that is the Marvel Now Iron Man. Now we're on to number I can't remember anymore, and I'm not even going to say it. This is the Target exclusive Ultron. Uh, I'm, I'm going to admit, I got this set just for the Ultron. Well, don't think I spent the full price on it because they had it on clearance for like 10 bucks, I think. And I'm like, hey, 10 bucks for three Marvel Legends. That's, that's, that's pretty nice. So, yeah, this guy. Great reuse of the Beetle mold. I don't have Beetle, but honestly, a part of me kind of wants him. Because this mold is just so nice. But I know for a fact, whenever I want to mess with the mold, I'm just going to go to this Ultron. So pretty much like, why bother getting the Beetle? I don't even really know who Beetle is that much. I didn't grow up with him. So yeah, this is this is a great mold. This head sculpt is perfection, man. This is Ultron right here. And I love how it actually looks very similar to the Ultron drones from Age of Ultron. Now, Ultron himself really didn't look like this, but... Hey, at least the design was kind of there in the movie. So yeah, big thumbs up to Hasbro. This is one of the best remolds, well, remolds, retools, resculpts, repaints that I've ever seen from a line that is mostly just repaints. So there is Ultron. And then we're getting on to the last three. Okay, so last three here. Uh, so this was my debate. I was thinking, 
which Spider-Man should I put on? Because that Spider-Man mold is fantastic. It was either going to be the main Spider-Man or this guy. And this guy won out. Yeah, Spider-Man 2099, or as I like to call him, Spider-Man Beyond. Because it's, it's kind of like Batman Beyond, but it's Spider-Man. And yeah, this guy, he's a winner. He's a complete winner. Uh, he uses that nice blue, shiny plastic, and there really isn't much of a marbleization on my copy, at least. And it looks absolutely amazing. And the paint, too, is actually pretty clean, given all the red paint. And that head sculpt, man, the design of the Spider-Man is so cool. He does reuse the Black Panther hands, which I really don't have much of an issue with. I mean, I think they work. And the little wrinkles, I mean, he is wearing a suit after all, so I mean, that doesn't bug me. Articulation is superb. It's, it's freaking superb. And I love how they actually remolded the forearms there to actually get the spikes. I kind of wish he came with an alternate, like, wing back piece, so you can have his arms out and actually using that, but... Because he, like, it just doesn't look too good. Otherwise, it's just there. It's like a weird little cape that he can't even use. So sometimes I keep it on him, sometimes I keep it off. It just depends on the kind of pose I'm going for. So yeah, that's Spider-Man 2099, and now we're down to our last two. This guy, then. I actually got the entire Guardians of the Galaxy wave because I wanted the group build a figure and I loved that freaking movie. And then I'm like, oh yeah, Nova, I mean, I guess I'll get him. I don't really know who he is that much. Uh, I guess I'll get his figure. And this figure, man, um, I don't know if this actually reuses any parts from anyone else, but this is, this is fantastic. This figure that I got just to complete a build a figure I was thinking about selling this guy, and then this figure was so amazing, I decided to keep it. And this figure made me a fan of the character of Nova. I don't, I still don't really know much about him. I mean, if you, if you don't know me, I absolutely hate reading comics. So yeah, that kind of, uh, it makes it kind of funny that I'm collecting comic book action figures, and I don't even read comics. But yeah, this, this figure, it's fantastic. It uses the same kind of blue, uh, shiny plastic that Spider-Man 2099 did, and I think it even turned out better on this guy. The gold is really nice. Actually, the place where the gold is the worst is probably on the belt of the forearms and the, 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 the shins. Boom, I remembered. JC4, trying to remember body part names. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, the shoulder pads move, and they really help with the articulation. The, you, you gonna bend back? You gonna bend back? Oh, you bent... What? You actually did bend back. I'm confused. There we go. And his head... His head sculpt is so nice, and I love how the helmet's actually a separate part, so it actually feels more three-dimensional. And just how he poses, too, is fantastic. So yeah, that is Nova. That is number two. Now, if you actually follow my channel, and if you know me a little personally, you know my favorite Marvel character of all time is Venom. I love Venom, and there is a Venom figure I acquired recently that is my absolute favorite Venom figure. I think I actually prefer this guy over the Marvel Select, because the Marvel Select, it looks amazing, but it doesn't have the fun factor of the Sinister Six of it for me. And I know what some people are thinking, oh, why didn't you put the Hyperion repaint Venom figure on here? Well, I'm just going to say that how Hyperion mold, it doesn't work that well for Venom. This Sabertooth mold, on the other hand, I'm satisfied with it. To me, I look at this and I'm like, yeah, that's Venom, dude. That head sculpt a lot of people don't like. They think it looks kind of weird. But for me, it actually looks a little bit Todd McFarlane-y, not only in the art, but also in just his toys. If you look at McFarlane toys, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of their business model, but I can really appreciate their sculpts and their art style. And this art style just, it screams McFarlane to me. While I don't really read the comics, so I don't really know if his artwork was exactly like this. But it just, it reminds me of his style. It looks like a head you'd see like in a spawn line or something. And the paint on this is super. It's kind of, it's the kind of paint you won't get on modern, modern Marvel Legends anymore. How long have I been talking? I've been talking for freaking like 14 minutes. Yeah, I'm getting kind of tired. So yeah, I think I'm going to end it. Oh, I actually didn't notice that before. Are you serious? This guy's got nipples, dude. I actually didn't notice that before. That's... 
Oh, wow. Dude's got nipples, man. Oh, hell yeah. So, yeah, that has been my top 10 favorite Marvel Legends list. Now, I mean, if you if you guys want, if you guys have enough Marvel Legends to do top 10, go ahead. Um, Rabbit Hammer, I'd actually be really interested in seeing his top 10 Marvel Legends. Because he's got hella Marvel Legends, dude. He's got hella Marvel Legends, man. Uh, I know Comic Figure Blog has a fair amount. I don't I don't know if he has enough to do a top 10. But, hey, dude, if you don't do, like, a top 10 Marvel toys, dude. And this goes out to everybody. If you want to make some sort of, like, top 10 Marvel toys, top 10 anything, just do it. It'd be cool to see, man. Top 10 Marvel Legends, top 10 Marvel Lego, even. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't care. Just, just Marvel, dude. Make mine Marvel. I don't, I don't understand that phrase. Um, make mine Marvel. I'm trying to understand like what it means. Make my, make mine Marvel. I don't even know if that's proper uh, English. Make mine Marvel. Let's let's pretend Marvel is um like a thing. Well, Marvel is a thing. I'm just trying to understand this. Make mine Marvel. Um. Like, make mine awesome. Make mine... Like, what is mine, though? Like, my life? Make mine Marvel? Make mine Marvel? Like, Marvel Mines? Like, like the stuff that uh, blows off legs if you walk on it? My, well, what are you talking about, dude? I don't understand the saying, man. You're freaking me out. I should probably read some more comics. Maybe it's a... Maybe it's a comic reference. Ooh, doo, 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 doo.